what it do everyone well for everyone that don't know today is my birthday happy birthday to me um i love you all so much and i just can't deal with it i have over 2,000 notes and messages from everyone on facebook and a lot of things are going on on um, youtube and MySpace and everything. I just never knew that you all actually cared as much as you do to give me that little bit of your day and tell me happy birthday. So thank you much. And keep in mind at all times, if it wasn't for you all, there would not be a for us to be. So everything that you see is because of you. And of course my mother, of course, because she had me and that bitch is bad. But anyway, time to get to this juice. Okay, so... I have a friend, I don't know if you all know or not, but I have a friend and um, she's getting married soon. And so she called me to go with her to a porn store because she's trying to get some stuff together for her um, honeymoon. So, you know, when you get on your honeymoon, you freaks that. Me personally, if I was with somebody a couple of years, well, really five years or whatever or more, I would have been done doing most of the freaky stuff. And, well, we would have been doing round two or three of the freaky things that we've already did. But anyway... I just had to let you all know this, okay? So we're in the porn store, right? And there's a video up. It's a gay video in the porn store. And she's not gay, but me and her looked at this video because, you know, why wouldn't we? We're looking at the video, and it's this guy having sex with this other guy. And, you know, in the in the pornos, they start in the beginning, and they're all slow, kiss, kiss, hug, want to be nice, and this and that. Well, this bitch starts off at the beginning of the porn. He's talking. Now, mind you, she's over there looking at the whips and the handcuffs and things like that because, hey, sometimes you need it all. But me, personally, I'm sitting there, I'm like, why is this boy up here acting like this? Okay, get this. The guy, which was a sissy, the feminine one, he was acting like he was from the hood. You know how black girls, black boys, most people that are crazy they do this they be like pull that dick out i want that dick we can't wait to see that i'm a freak i sucks i fucks you know how folks you know somebody like that because i do more than one person but get this in the video it was a guy he was real quiet and the sissy was like i'm calling him a sissy i don't call all gay people sissy i'm just saying it because that's what i want to do the sissy was like i can handle that dick i'm not scared of that pull that out let me see it i can handle that girl and boys he pulled out this big old monster. And this girl got scared, honey. She done talked all that stuff and seen that dick and could not take it. So here we are. You know me. I done went behind the counter and got the fast forward button because I want to see if this bitch can do this. This girl is, oh, oh, stop. It hurts. And oh, all this and that. The reason I'm saying this, it brings me to this topic. And it's going to be brief because I don't know how many minutes I got. And plus, I got to go out and kick it for my birthday. I have, like, a whole bunch of people to go see. I enjoyed y'all at Out of Bounds at the club last week. Thank you. But anyway. Woo! This is, it was running from the dick. And girls do that, too. Brings me to this topic. Y'all going to stop trying to be big and bad. You can't be big and bad. You got tricked. You thought that dick wasn't going to be big. You thought it was going to be a little something. And you thought you could just get on act a fool. And he fucked up and gave you a Tonka truck. He's tricked you. Y'all got to start interviewing these boys, honey. See the dick within a week. Don't waste no time on some shit that's going to kill you, hurt you. Or in this case, make you feel like a fool. Because look, he was trying to run. The girl was trying to run from the dick. And he still was throwing that in there and dogging that. And he was making that bitch hurt and scream. That's what you get. You was tricked. Now see, what if you would have dated him for six months and then had sex with him and you liked him and couldn't take the dick? Then you would have felt like a fool. Don't do that, people. Interview the dick. This was a true case of you got tricked by the dick. And I, and I know that a lot of people are like, I'm a bad bitch. I can handle it. First of all, I personally wouldn't want 14 to 16 inches rolling up in these guts. But you know, this is my body. I can take it if I want to, but I'm not that bad of a bitch. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, I can go take this dick from Tyrone when I know Tyrone will make me scream and moan. Help. Police. 911. Someone save me. It hurts. I can't take it. Let's pause for a minute and let me look pretty. All right, we're back. So I just wanted you all to know that. Facebook, hello all my babies. YouTube, you know you're doing me well. And Twitter and everything, I'm getting good at you, but not as good. And to all my sex fiends, mama, let me tell y'all, 
dick is something serious. So you can be a lesbian all day long. Because there's no big tongue that can just make you scream from it stretching you open, okay? You can be an old lady trying to take dick for the first time. Because if you've had a lot of kids or if you're dying, it's probably easy for you to take it and do it like a pro. But when you get one of these boys that's got some shit that ain't playing, no ma'am. I send you up the peace sign. Now, nobody wants a small pee pee. Nothing against you, small pee pee people. But it's just like McDonald's. You're not going to go buy the 99 cent kids' meal when you know that you want you um, a quarter pounder with cheese, fries, and a drink. So, you know, you're going to do that. But anyway, work on your game when you dig me a little. I ain't got nothing against that, but I don't need that. <laughs> but anyway. You cannot do that. Stop talking that shit if you ain't the baddest chick. I don't, and me personally, I don't know why you would want to try to ride on something that's going to take you a year to get down. I mean, if I'm trying to get on it and it takes me five hours, there's a problem. And I understand the dick is good. I'm not going to say dick is not good. I'm not going to say you don't need it. But I will say, know what you're getting into before it fucks you up. This has been uh, official for us to be... You got tricked by the dick exclusive. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I know, y'all are going to talk about this video. The For Rest to Be show is hopefully going to be coming soon. We're posting it and getting other people to look at it. And we're trying to see if we can get it picked up and aired. So if you are an agent or you are a good manager and you think that you can handle what For Rest to Be is doing, please hit me up and I'll get back with you if it's important and if I feel it'll work. Because I need somebody that can roll with your girl. Anyway, if the dick is thick, run from the shit. If it's too long to holler, throw it a dollar until it go on. I'm going to go. Love you all like my luggage. It's not Louis Vuitton. I think it came from Walmart. But whatever the case, it looks good with me. This is for us to be. Thanks, fans. And it's my birthday. I can talk shit if I want to. Hugs and kisses for now. Toodles. Oh, Facebook me up, too. It's Foresta, F-O-R-R-E-S-T-A, B, B-E-E. And... Pass the word and tell your friends, and let's see where it can go. Continue to buy my music on iTunes and YouTube. Love you, like you. Toodles.